Stephen Curry for Johnny Flynn. Oh, Michael Beasley for three. All right, 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 all right. This is the greatest 2K game of all time, and this is about to be one of the greatest rebuilds you could ever imagine. Why? Because today we are rebuilding the Minnesota Timberwolves. 15 wins on the season. They were ranked 30th in offense and defense in this 2K, and that is because they are led by 74 overall Kevin Love, Michael Beasley, and Johnny Flynn. Michael Beasley, who I love, the greatest scorer of all time. Kevin Kevin Love, who has an A-plus rebounding because he was a dog. He was 260 pounds, 6'10". And Johnny Flynn, who was one of the two players, along with Ricky Rubio, who was drafted over Stephen Curry back-to-back, -back, literally back-to-back. -back, -back. But Ricky Rubio is not even in the game yet because he was still overseas. And well, this is why I just now realized this is going to be one of the greatest rebuilds ever. I gave, I gave Michael Beasley a 99 potential. He already had like an 86, but I gave Michael Beasley a 99 potential just because I wanted to do a legit legitimate rebuild long term around Michael Beasley which by the way is the worst idea ever because it's 4 19 a.m right now as I record this but you know this video is going to exist on YouTube forever so I got no excuses I gotta make classics but then I went over to the trade thing I went to the trade finder and saw that Johnny Flynn also has a four and a half star value and he has a 90 potential himself I did not edit that at all that is what he had so I'm going to be rebuilding this team around Johnny Flynn and Michael Beasley before we go any further I want to shout out to Today's sponsor, Basket Trio. Basket Trio is a revolutionary streetball based mobile title. The mobile scene is in desperate need of an exciting 3v3 streetball title, and Basket Trio looks to do exactly that, as it has an incredible amount of customization features to enhance the freedom of each player. You can choose your play style, gear, and level up your player in a plethora of unique ways. As of right now, Basket Trio is one of a kind, especially in the mobile landscape. The skill points attributes for your player are fully customizable, regardless of position, so you can be the best shooter on the court, even at center. Your your character development is linked to all your different players, so you only have to grind for your skill points once. There's a wide variety of tricks, celebratory moves, and even taunting your opponents by pushing them after scoring. Those fully customizable outfits can even more importantly give you boosts to different attributes and can give you an upper hand over your opponents. And you could do all these things at two of the most popular courts in the world, Rucker Park and Venice Beach, playing on either of them from your fingertips. So you can download Basket Trio from the link in my description, and also here's a gift code up on the screen which you can redeem for some free prizes. Simply click the settings cog on the top right and then gift code to redeem this after you download the game from the link in the description. So thank you to Basket Trio for sponsoring this video. And now, actually, let's just keep all three of them honestly and do a legitimate rebuild. Does Wesley Johnson have good potential? You know, I'm just gonna hold on to Wesley Johnson too then if he's a three and a half. He's a higher star value than Kevin Love. Oh, this man's a rookie and he was like the seventh pick or something, right? Yeah, oh no, who's the fourth pick? Oh my God, yeah, no, keep Wesley Johnson too. What the hell, we're about to have the big four. You know what, honestly, I'm about to just try and get some draft picks i don't know what crack rock the raptors are currently on because they're they want to trade me wayne ellington for their first round pick but you, you don't even know do you look at this deandro bar they're awful they're give me your first round pick thanks you know what i see this guy in free agency by the name of alan iverson and screw it we're just gonna sign alan iverson i don't know if i'm actually gonna keep him because i don't really even want to be good but screw it uh alan iverson one year deal hello welcome to the team can we acknowledge how this is definitely supposed to be dennis schroeder this this man's name is Derek Schroeder, six foot one on the Erie Bayhawks. You know good and well this is supposed to be Dennis Schroeder. There's no way another man was named Schroeder. I tried to get Demarcus Cousins and I tried to get Tyreek Evans, which both of them were very goat. They were they were a little bit too good. Like I I don't know. I'm trying to swing this Allen Iverson package, but what about Paul George, what can we what can we do for Paul George? See, look, I don't want to give up our first round pick this year, but how about next year? I'll give that up for Paul. That's Paul George. Come on now, it's pa it's Paul George. Oh, they accepted it. Hold on, look at this. I just put Dante Jones and Luke Ridnour in the trade finder. They offered me Drew Holiday. If only Elton Brand knew he'd be the GM now. Yeah, screw it. I mean, I guess this is a pretty solid amount of players to give up for Drew Holiday, but screw it. I like Drew Holiday. He's a cool guy. I'm playing the greatest in the finals right now as I record this, but that's okay. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not okay, actually. Now we get our full young starting lineup. Johnny Flynn, Wesley Johnson, Paul George, Michael Beasley, and Kevin Love. There we go. I just made it a, a seven-man rotation with solely the young guys. Our coach is Kurt Rambis? Screw it. We're just going to simulate the season with
with Kurt Rambis. Why not? But I'm about to make the Minnesota Timberwolves into, into a dynasty. How does that feel? Simulate through date. We got nothing. You know, I mean, nothing to lose except for every game. Stephen Curry for Johnny Flynn in our first round pick. Oh my God. The irony. They say, yo, you, I know this guy's Steph, man. He's I, I mean, he's, but Johnny Flynn generational. But yeah, no, I just declined that trade. I don't, that's John, Johnny for Bargnani, please, please. Guys, get out of my mansion. Uh, we're currently, wait, where are we at? 21. In, okay. You know, we're, we're far from the worst team in the league. Ever since our first few trades, it's actually been a, look at, look at how many trades there's been. There's been a plethora and I mean a plethora. I even saw Jamal Crawford for Steve Nash on here. So many trades. They offered Steph again. Player stats. Ooh, look at John. Johnny Flynn leading the team in scoring. Yeah, yeah, that we're looking pretty solid. You know what though? Corey Brewer is kind of trash right now, and his uh, contract is about to expire. So let's just trade him. I sure as Anthony Tolliver is even here. Hey, yo, I'm trading Corey Brewer and Nocioni for Taj Gibson and Kyle Korver. They're both they're both on multi-year deals. We get him bold, man, and we're getting the greatest shooter ever. We get ourselves some good locker room pieces. Wow, some of these guys' contracts are really awful. D-League playoffs stop. No, don't stop simulating and never ask again. That is so stern. Oh my god. We Improve the record by 15 wins. I think we're. It says we're 27th overall. Okay, we're we're completing mad things. Play a rookie 30 plus minutes. Player named to the defensive second team. Player named to the all rookie second team. All rookie first team. LeBron is the MVP. Like how I think he. Wait, no. This is the year that D Rose won. Evan Turner wins rookie of the year. The second pick in the draft. Andre Miller sixth man of the year. Josh Smith DPOI most improved was Terrence Williams and coach of the year is Larry Drew. All NBA first team. Manu is here. Oh man. All NBA second team and all NBA third team. Melo never even got traded to the Knicks, but I guess he could still sign with him, which would have been better than trading like the entire team for him. We got Wesley Johnson on the all defensive team. Well, I could have sworn it was Paul George, but I guess it wasn't because, well, here he is. Actually, look at his block. This man averages two blocks and he's like six, seven. And he's on the all rookie first team and Paul George is on the second team. Okay, so obviously we make no playoffs. So just simulate the whole playoffs. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't really care about the stats. We already showed the stat. Oh my God. Lakers won the championship four to three over Miami. That would have been an ill fight finals matchup Kobe versus Braun. Oh, uh, Kobe finals MVP averaging 33 points per game. Kurt Thomas retired. Oh boy. Here's a progression. Johnny Flynn went up by four. Love up by three. Beasley only went up by three. You would think a 99 overall potentially would be uh, whatever. I mean, I guess we're building a great team anyways, but Johnny Flynn might not end up the best though. It looks like a White House visit for the Lakers, but no, I'm not doing that until our White House visit. Let's see. Kurt Rambis, he expired. I'm going to fire him and hire. Uh, wow. We don't have a lot of options. Huh? George Carl. Carl. This guy, Corey King, it says he's an F in being a teacher, but I mean, I didn't pay you to be a teacher. I'm paying you to be an NBA coach. And uh, wow, okay, we go there for that long. Uh, screw it, Corey King, six year deal. And there really wasn't anybody else. So are we, I guess we could have just promoted this guy. Well, this is JB Bickerstaff. Oh my God, but his name is John Blair Bickerstaff. Oh, wow, JB Bickerstaff. I wish I could have known that and I could have just made him the coach. He's accepted mad team options, but we could let Costa Kufas go because I don't care. Look at Melo trying to get out of Denver. He actually might have have the money to wait we might have the money to sign mellow i never even thought about that before we do any of that though let's look at let's oh look at this number two and number six chance and this is it this is the only screen oh wait here we go oh 14 13 12 11 i like this actually i like this a lot better than what they got now and be honest we just get it over it let's do it number six is us okay okay but we, can we jump up from two to one though can we jump up from two to one nope nope everything's the same i think everyone's everything's the same at least but number two in the nba draft and number six which isn't too shabby uh i'm not wait we can do do shoot around one on one what the hell wait actually let, let's play around with this screw it this is incredible oh my you can do a full five on five scrimmage or do a one-on-one -on -one. i want to see people go one-on-one -on -one. i want to see somebody go one-on-one -on -one with michael beasley or so i don't know nba comparison tim duncan nba comparison lebron james nba steve steve nash from from serbia wait was that guy was that john salmons yo i'm really about to play i'm controlling wait wait who am i i'm controlling the other guys okay you know fine fine uh let's let's see how they are who's this oh B bucket oh he's got jump shot 24 i remember that I, I you know what the fact that i remember that you know i've been playing 2k for too long i don't know what this game is too but michael beasley's about to give me a bucket oh my god actually you know what this guy's a power forward he oh my god i'm not gonna lie let me control my my home team beasley in the post oh yeah post up ah uh, oh michael michael beasley okay you know what i'm just gonna leave off on that bucket um we could just get out of here now that was fun yeah i don't think the workouts really did anything but he, I, i'll take it the NBA draft, New York, 2011. Now I checked the mock draft. Was he about to talk to me? Ayo, hey, Dave. Vladimir, I'm just guessing his name is Vladimir, got picked number one. The point guard was getting compared to Steve Nash. He goes to the Suns. So now.
now what the hell are we gonna oh we only have 330 wait is that actually for real oh wow a second really just ticked off we really only have a certain amount of time now there was a mock draft that had us taking trent red as well as a uh, chester pool hey, this guy red look at this he even tells us right here his potential is a plus him and the other guy that we're projected to draft right now are the best players in terms of potential so ao he's supposed to be lebron i like lebron he's a cool guy so let's draft trent red with the second pick thank you very much i don't know why uh, usually he talks i think david stern but that's okay edmund macy goes next now wait wait wait. hold on hold on real quick real quick can we can we do a little, a little trade find to see if we can move, move up a little bit i would take the tim duncan guy you know this is really tempting i can they're not even asking for the sixth pick but i can just trade drew holiday for the fourth pick by the way the guy we just drafted is an 83 overall already actually i was looking to free up some salary you know what yeah i'm, I'm gonna just do this trade with drew throwing three three of these guys with drew there you go they accepted it they accepted it now you guys are offering me trades huh they're offering me luke babbitt let's get a center you know kevin kevin love he, he's cool but let's lock in jeffrey davidson first he's supposed to be tim duncan and then we're gonna hope that this guy pool stays past this cavaliers pick oh there we oh my god they just lobbed all of the best players chester pool welcome to the squadron and that that should be it for the draft actually we still got our second round pick too i'm just gonna trade for the knicks first round pick next year my god that elton brand contract is atrocious yeah screw it. let's just take the knicks first round pick next year get rid of this second round pick we have 25 million in cap room can we sign carmelo anthony um if i'm not mistaken it looks like we 100 can but the uh, the question is will he want to? i'll give him the no trade clause and i'll give him the mean player option he would like to wait a few days for his decision i remember when they used to make this name look like j.a crawford for jamal crawford because it was also jordan crawford oh man Shaq is he oh big diesel huh? carmelo anthony has committed to sign with us let's just play safe and not sign everybody let's just let's just make sure we get carmelo anthony okay yup wow wow that just happened so we got mellow and we got mellow from the left we just completely finessed the league 22 because he really wanted to be here because like all these other guys did not sign with us vince carter iverson i offered them wow i, I offered them some mean contracts too so we got really lucky this man just wanted to be in minnesota jesus christ okay i'm gonna opt to go with jamal crawford as our backup point guard over delante west there is 23 days of three free jesus christ Th this free agency was actually a lot better though i, I the, everything about this game was just better so this is our new rotation okay Shaq. i could already tell you right now you're not starting but that's okay for now you can think you are preseason power rankings were number four so they already know that we're nice yeah you see the rotation on the screen basically i edited a couple positions Shaq's not starting anymore it's it's davidson at center our new tim duncan beasley mellow johnson flint this, this is just this is incredible this is incredible i can't trade mellow he has the no trade clause so i literally can't trade that man player stats well mellow's out only averaging 20 on this godforsaken team that shoots so much the guy that we have off the bench trent red is averaging 15 you know our rookie that we just drafted was basically supposed to eat me he's supposed to be the next lebron paul george has been kind of trash maybe we trade paul george to get a better point guard or something because we're actually not like the best now there's a few different moves we can make with paul george but the most enticing ones are including the six pick guy that we just had chester who's not even playing yet and he's also 23 like we could get paul pierce which is actually not that weird uh we could also get brandon jennings who's actually kind of like but i think that he's expiring so i don't really want to give him a max but look at this one look oh first of all jr smith that's kind of enticing too actually and ty lawson even james harden best one is easily for vladimir the guy who was just drafted number one because look at this we could probably flip this guy for like anything and he is averaging 27 and six in his first season we drafted two great rookies but he's probably the best rookie right now so we're gonna give them hell i guess some better players i don't know because they're not really that good anyway thank you for vladimir and we are now gonna he's probably gonna start he's probably gonna take johnny flint's spot so this is now our this is actually a beautiful eight man rotation vladimir red or let's just say nash lebron mellow beasley and duncan with johnny flynn wesley johnson and kevin love off the bench i'm fully content with this team whatever happens on earth stays on earth we got one player to the all-star team i would assume that's obviously mellow win 10 games in a row improve record by 15 wins make the playoffs improve record by 20 wins play a rookie 20 plus minutes right play a rookie 30 plus minutes all players are happy i don't even have morale on i don't think but does that even matter who cares all rookie second team all rookie first team all nba third team coach the rookie of the year whoa the ro oh yeah right because we traded for the suns guy we get the coach of the year oh man we ended up even better than i thought we were gonna be lebron won mvp good for you but vladimir is still the rookie of the year even over here devin harris six man gerald wallace kendrick perkins won most improved and Corey king is coach of the year we actually were fourth in the conference but he won coach of the year i guess Corey 
King is really just nice with it. All NBA first team is similar to last year. And uh, I mean, that pretty much all these guys deserve it. Second team, Yao is up here, even though he's like an 83. Actually, same with Dirk. Then the third team, though, v whoa, Vladimir's on the third. I thought it was going to be Melo. No defensive team. We got two players on the all rookie first team. And then Jeffrey also on the second team. They all averaged 10 plus points. So they all played very well. And fourth seed against Utah. Honestly, let's just get it going. First game, we win. Second game, we win. Third game, we lose. Fourth game, we lose. Fifth game, we win. And six. Okay, we're in a game seven already. Okay, cool. We won the game seven. I wasn't jumping in no game seven. Now, here's the thing. There actually was no sim cast in this. So I actually have to click play game. And matter of fact, wow, the Lakers lost in the first round. I have to just click play game and then do a one minute quarter game. But I'm, I'm good as of right now. Vladimir actually struggled round one. So did Davidson. But Melo was so good that it didn't even matter. I don't know how anybody else is playing. Oh, they're probably just playing like garbage time minutes. According to the overalls, we're pretty decently better than the Spurs. They should have the real Tim Duncan though, right? Yeah, they still got Tim and Manu, who's an all NBA player. I don't, oh, you know, Kawhi wasn't even drafted by now. Kawhi, what, we would have been in that draft probably drafting Kawhi if I could download draft classes. Uh, game one is to us. Game two is to us. Game three is to them. Game four is to them. Game five is to us. Game six is to us. Conference finals against Oklahoma City. Now, you already know that's scary because uh, it's it's Kevin Durant. KD and Westbrook, Harden is Harden. The rest of the team is the rest of the team. Game one is their win. Game two is their win. Game three is our win. Game four is our win. Game five is their win. And game six, oh man, we're in a game seven, dog. Actually, look at that. You can see the scores right there. And we just won by a lot too. Screw it. Just Ah, we lost game seven. We lost by a lot, actually. We, we lost by a pretty decent amount. Red actually had a bad game. Melo had an okay game. You know what? Let's just run it back. Let's just run it back. We're not going to complain too much. We're just going to run it back. As the Hawks win the championship, they actually had the coach of the year last year. So I guess that's not, oh my God. Look at Joe Johnson, 55 points. Joe Johnson just goaded, absolutely goaded. Ray Allen retired. He would have never hit this shot in this universe. Steve Nash retired and we lost Shaq. Shaq retired and there's actually no overriding it because I'm trying to right now and it's not working. Flip Saunders retired, RIP Flip Saunders. Trent went up to an 87. What up, Be Beasley's an 80. Okay, they're, I mean, they're all very good. Jamal's old as hell and I gave him a four year deal like an idiot. I could always trade him though. In this universe, Dwight Howard loves Orlando. Okay, so I could re-sign Michael Beasley right here, right now. Let's just, let's just, oh, oh, okay. He's chosen to test the market. Oh, never mind. Okay. So Kevin Love accepted his offer. And I guess now we're just here for Beasley. I mean, he's restricted. So I'm, I, I'll probably be able to resign him, right? The draft lottery. We have the number, we have the ninth best odds. I mean, screw it. Let, let's just skip the lottery summary. Okay. Number nine. To be honest though, I'm definitely trading this pick. You know, I could trade the pick and Jamal Crawford and, and Todd for Terrence Williams pretty easily. The Suns are really not good at making trades. So uh, sure. He won most improved player. Maybe they just finessed us. Who knows? We'll never know. And I don't have a pick, so I'm not signing anybody. I'm not even offering anybody else. I'm just offering Michael Beasley. Just come back to this team, big fella. If, you, if you're going to try and leave, there you, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Oh, I could sign. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me I could sign Evan Turner. I get a, oh, oh my God, I got Evan Turner. What the hell? I love Steve Novak. The discount double check. What? Who are you talking about? I got way too many players to get minutes to, but I guess it's a good problem to have. Here's the rotation for this next season. It is beautiful. Nine minutes rotation we've got a lot of players that can play basketball let's just do it i'm not going to lie to you navigating the menu can be a little bit tough from time to time but aside from that everything about this game is like genuinely really really good compared to the like nowadays second overall in the league just proceed no needs for trades this year make the playoffs improve record over last year all players are happy we finished the season with the best record kd is the mvp havel Cesarb is rookie of the year anthony rand oh my i'm oh my god this man used to become so nice and either this game or 2k10 or 2k12 or something this man will become so nice first team is wall evans durant lebron and howard second team is rose west okay you you see him you see him we got anybody man gerald wallace made the third team and so did andrea bargnani that is wild that shows that those have no value did we have anybody anywhere N uh, i don't think so that sounds pretty good for a team that's first in the conference yeah we were just well mellow red lukovsky and beasley are all incredible so we were all on cloud nine we're all hitting on all cylinders this season jr smith averaged 25 i should have traded for this man i love jr all right first round against denver there's no way we lose in the first round right 2-0 2-1 2 why does every series ever go 2-2 and it's three no we're not okay cool we won round one against denver who the hell is he oh wait that's jr smith that's okay so i wanted to trade for jr smith and now jr smith is jr smithing in the playoffs i gonna lie when he's averaging 25 points and ty lawson is ty lawson it's actually kind of scary so i'm happy we won that utah i literally have no clue let's just hope it goes well honestly let's just let's just beat utah game one is a 
win. Game two is a win. Game three is a loss. Game four, why is every series gotta be 2-2? But that works. We went to the conference finals again. And Memphis is our matchup. Who is on Memphis? Oh, whoa. Yi Jian Lian, or however the hell you pronounce this man's name. This man, what? That man is over there. Da Alonzo G, Cavaliers legend, Marcus Saul. Look at this. This man, Lukovsky, has been on a different level this playoffs. This man is leading us in points and assists. I guess it's a good thing we traded for him, although J.R. Smith might have worked fine too. Let's see. Around whatever the hell against Memphis. This is finally going to be the series where we finally sweep somebody. Uh, nope. It's 2 2 again. And we're down 3 2. 3 3. And we are in the finals against Chicago. That's got to be Derrick Rose. There's no way they traded Derrick Rose. Yup. D Rose, Boozer, Luau, Jermaine O'Neal, Corey Brewer, who we traded. And now he's actually playing well. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be the Corey Brewer revenge, huh? And they got T Mac, who I actually tried to sign. I, I saw that he signed with Chicago instead of us and Carlos Boozer. We took Taj, though. But I already traded him. Let's see. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. Game three is a loss. Game four is a loss. Game five is a loss. Come on. Come on. You can't. Okay. It is game seven. You know what we're going to do? Game seven. Moment we've all been waiting for. A championship at stake. Game seven of the NBA do Finals. You hear this It'll be the Chicago voice? Bulls this facing off against the Minnesota who Timberwolves. Is this? Who do they give minimum wage to do this introduction? What am I hearing? Is that Ronnie? Now, I remember I jumped into one of these games on one of these old school 2K games, but I remember I can't remember if I did it on 2K11 or 13. First of all, this is loud as hell. Here we go. Carlos Boozer getting ready to tip it off. Yeah, let me get on a 2K camera angle. Here we go. Oh, Michael Beasley for three to start it off. This man just kicked us off. Yo, we are in a two minute game or two minute quarters. Game seven, and Michael Beasley just hit a three to start it all off. Brewer has in the corner. Brewer down to O'Neal. O'Neal mid range shot is good. Is that, wait, that's an old Jermaine O'Neal, too. Okay. Here's the rookie guy, Lukovsky. We've actually got three of them in this lineup. And down at Davidson, he's got a lane to the... Oh, almost and one. Almost. Disgusting free throw animation. Actually, I think that's the Rip Hamilton. Watch this. Watch. This is Rip Hamilton for sure. He, he goes down so... Look at this. What the hell? It almost looks like number six is LeBron, but I'm pretty sure it's just Corey Brewer. Rose, a little size up to the basket. Derek, layup. Back out. Brewer. Brewer. He dribbles to the basket. Spin move. Spin. That's all. Michael Beasley, are you the guy for us right now? Let's see. Is he going to hand it to Melo? Yes, he does. Melo gets the screen. Melo going right. Carmelo Anthony all the way looking for his first ring and he hits the layup. 7-2 to two lead. Derrick Rose behind the back. Pull up mid-range. That is all. Eight seconds left in the first. Brewer. Oh, wait. Is that Ronnie Brewer in the game right now? Okay. Oh, wait, no. Wait. What am I talking about? That's Corey Brewer. The guy that I literally just mentioned like seven times. Brewer at the buzzer. Oh, oh that looks like Corey Brewer, actually. Some of these are really, really bad. I can't lie. Like some of these face scans. Like I was just looking at Melo. Look at Thibodeau on the sidelines. Young Tom Thibodeau. Rose bringing it up against Johnny Flynn now. And they still got Red with Turner, Davidson, and Beasley. Okay, back over to Rose. Rose out to Tracy McGrady. Post up play. Tracy, what you gonna do with it? Down to Boozer. Boozer the fadeaway. That's all. I just realized I'm recording this at 6.45 a.m. Jesus Christ, the things I do for this channel. Red goes between the legs a couple times. To the left. Back out and stolen away by McGrady. Tracy McGrady wearing number 21. Looking like Jimmy Butler on the Bulls, actually. Rose pulls up mid-range is off. Rebound by Davidson. Flynn throws it all the way up and Turner, the layup. It is goaltending. That man Flynn just launched it. Look at Thibodeau. Pissed. That man is still pissed, even in this day and age. What final is this? The 2013, I think we're in? Yeah. Boozer in the post. Boozer against uh, Beasley. He pulls up. Boozer, that's good. Red now. He goes crossover. Back over. Another crossover to the basket. All the way. Red layup. He is. Wow. He, yeah. And Flynn now. He's got some room. All the way to the basket. Johnny gets fouled. Look at Johnny Flynn, the god. Michael Beasley just subbed out for Kevin Love. It's funny how in this, I basically just made Michael Beasley into Kevin Love. And actually, oh, hold on. Rose, full court. Oh my, I thought that went in for a second. The HP halftime report. The Boozer back to O'Neal. O'Neal, the fadeaway shot is good. Melo hitting him with the screen. Lukovsky gets double teamed. You see, oh, Lukovsky pulls the fadeaway midi. It's all. Boozer, oh, I remember this old Boozer animation. Boozer, the second free throw is off. Yep, off. Melo, number 15. It looks pretty natural in these Wolves jerseys, too. It looks nice. It looks like the Nuggets one. And again, we've seen Melo in a lot of jerseys now, which is kind of weird. He used to only, I was used to two. And Melo going right. He hasn't scored yet. Is he going to change that? Yes, he does. Carmelo Anthony. Look at him. It does not look like Melo. It does, but it's weird now. It's been 10 years, and the graphics are very different. Dang, the fadeaway is off. That man took it from behind the backboard. Vladimir back to Beasley over to Melo. Ooh, jab step. Jab steps by Melo. I love to see Melo jab steps. And ooh, red, the three point shot is off. Imagine a team of LeBron, Melo, Tim Duncan, Nash, Be and Michael Beasley. That's exactly what we have right now. And Boozer to the basket. Actually, instead of Beasley, just call him Kevin Durant. And we have 
two seconds left. Up to Mello. Oh, he actually got it off. Did he? Oh, wow. Look at Mello. Look at him. What, why are you looking at me like that, Carmelo? Now, comment section. Tell me, who said the lyric, I'm balling with nuggets like I'm Carmelo? Now the crib got much rooms, Portobello. As Mello goes to the basket over to Red. Red, he hits the off the glass shot. Look at the crowd. It's funny, though, is that they actually have more detail than the crowds had in, like, 2K20, except they're just 2D. Dang, he's got the ball from the perimeter. There's only 150 left in this game. Everything on the line. And dang, oh, the spin move. That was beautiful. And he deserved that, and he missed it. Is that Pekovic in the game? Oh, wait, no, that's love. That has to be. Wow, that, that, uh, that looked just like Pekovic. Carmelo has the ball to ice Here's the game. Anthony. Mello, the fadeaway is good. Anthony. Carmelo Anthony might have just hit the dagger. Let's see what the Bulls got up their sleeve. Oh, Derrick Rose just went backcourt. What the? Yo, that is. I, I saw that recently on a 2K21 video. I think on my second channel on the Dame series, I think I saw that. That man, D Rose, just said, oh, yeah, nah, I'm just going to dribble past the half court. Boom, take it right back. One hot this time, two hot this time. Lukovsky. Wow, well, they actually pronounce his name really well. The announcer that is in Mello. Oh, my. Oh, I thought he was going to hit that. That would have been wild. Our star player, our savior, Carmelo Anthony, the man who accelerated the rebuild. Can he potentially finish this out? This man, Mello, at the free throw line, though, first is good. I swear, all like the signature animations, like this free throw by Mello looks a lot better in this this game. Like, they ruined his jump shot, too. It used to be look absolutely perfect, and then they changed it. I don't even know what the hell is wrong with him, honestly. I don't, they really don't have any way to explain for that one. Rose, he needs like a three here, I think. Rose, he's going crossover, pulls up. I mean, any bucket would be good, but no. He's been AWOL this quarter. No, they did not just say Rose was AWOL. Oh my, if you know, you know what happened with Rose in 2019, or no, wait, no, 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 whoa, 2017. They they were saying the word AWOL so much. They just said he went AWOL in the fourth quarter, and well, Melo missed that one. Rose down to uh, Cooper. Cooper, the layup is off. They had just sold this entire fourth quarter. And Vladimir is probably going to dribble it out. Is he? Oh, never forget dribbling out. He is dribbling the hell out of that ball. Look at Vladimir being smart. Never mind. He just dropped the ball and over to Melo. Melo for three to end it. No, Rose gets the board, but that's going to be it. We are up by eight points with, with five seconds left. Rose, you can do anything. You can, what are you going to hit an eight point shot? Rose for three. That is good. And the Minnesota Timberwolves in an eight point game seven are going to win the NBA championship. Jesus Christ, our coach is much taller than Tom Thibodeau. Melo beats Chicago Bulls, a team that he was rumored to actually go to a lot of times back in these days. And uh, look at, why is the celebration so weak? I mean, our coach is holding up the trophy, sure, but like aside from that, it's like, it's why is everybody so spaced out? What are we, six feet apart? We're social distancing? Okay, there, no, this looks cool. This looks cool. Okay, there we go. Look at Wesley Johnson. Hype is all hell. We got four Timberwolves at the very least still on this team. Love, Wesley, Johnny Flynn, and Michael Beasley. And then you add on Melo, three-star rookies, and this is what you get, literally. And Evan Turner. Shout out Evan Turner. The rookie of the year, actually. So we got a lot of very, very notable names here. And that is it. This is the game wrap-up. All the sound just really disappeared. I just realized how, how loud I'm talking at 7 a.m. Player of the game was who? Carmelo Anthony, of course. The Jordan player of the game, to be exact. They had a slideshow in this game, too. Look at this. Oh, that was that was nuts. And so was this. They got Rose fading away at the perfect angle. Mellow being Mellow. Derek Rose, why are they showing his signature? I don't know, but that's fire. I love the attention to detail. Mellow going to the basket a couple times and the missed layup. And that is it. We, uh, wait, I, I click quit. Hopefully, okay, that worked. That worked. Cool. The Timberwolves win the NBA championship. 35 reward points have been added. Vladimir is the finals MVP with 18 and 8 again. Allen Iverson retires ringless. Rip Hamilton retires with his free throw release. Chauncey Billups is the coach of the Blazers now. Kenyon Martin has a son in the NBA. And Andre Miller was like top five in the assist ranking, but I bet LeBron and Chris Paul passed him by now. So all these players are notable in some way, except for Brad Miller. Bill Jackson retired, except he was with Miami, which is stupid. Greg Popovich just retired, and he's still in the league now, 10 years later. What is this? What am I looking at? Is that supposed to be our progression? It didn't even show anybody progressing. I don't know, but Evan Turner got a lot better, and we barely even played him. Ew, we, we did our thing. We won our championship. Michael Beasley was one of the key players, averaging 14 points in the season that we won the most games in the league. And Kevin Love, Wesley Johnson, and uh, what's his name? Johnny Flynn are still all here. This was actually really fun. Um, it's a fun enough to where I extend this recording to three hours, and I'm here at 7.01 a.m. Hey, yo, and in the comments section, let me get a VL for MVP for Vladimir Lukovsky. This man is a GOAT, and also, I had my, my guy, so look, story time real quick. The first person I ever met on NBA 2K14 when I got the PS4 and we could play Park for the first time ever was my guy VL, and I still talk to him to this day. His name is, but his PS then was VL. A little double meaning to that one. I'm gonna get the hell up and add. Oh my God, I almost forgot to do the White House visit. Oh man, the White House visit. Here you go. Look at this. Look at our guys all up in here. Oh man, the coach is like the tallest player on the team. I really, he he probably is a former.
former player now that I think about it. But yeah, I don't know who that is. Vladimir's holding the jersey with Barack Obama. This is the best part of it all. I can't believe I almost ended this video without even doing this. And give coach his respect. Come on now. And it's probably going to replay. Oh, there goes Michael Beasley with Barack Obama. Come on now, guys. Guys, it really doesn't get better than this. Matter of fact, Melo's on the outside. If you don't let Melo get closer to Barack, and it's going to keep on replaying probably. I think that's it, right? We're, we're good. Look at actually, look at JB Bickerstaff in there too. I just saw him too. But all right, yeah, we're, we're done now. We're done. We could leave the White House. That was beautiful though. That was beautiful. That is officially going to do it. Thank you for watching. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you cover my channel at all. I, I did not enunciate that right at all, but it's 7.06 a.m. And I'm going to get the hell up and out of here. I appreciate, for, I appreciate you for existing. Cut.